Vamos reagir aqui a Staying in 50 of the World Weirdest Hotels. Vamos embora. Siga, siga. I stayed in 50 of the weirdest hotels, like an upside down room, a brand new treehouse neighborhood, a luxury tiger resort where you sleep next to animals. And in this video, you'll see all 50 hotels and way more. Starting with this hotel room. Fra, está sharp. Para lá, vamos usar como inglês sharp. Glass, and the room is in the lobby of the hotel, so anybody walking by can see you all the time. Basically, you pay no Ai, money, ganda merda. get no privacy. Ganda merda. Hey, Mas vai haver I'm alguns desses weirdos que são fixos, não é? Mas este é grande da merda, Estão tipo a dormir no expositor de uma loja. Foda-se. Estiviam pagar... What is that? And when I started to sleep, some people literally tried waking me up. Not to mention the lights will stay on all night and people will still be watching you the whole time. They really está, Luz, like não tenho as dúvidas. There's definitely no other hotel like this on earth. By the way, we'll rank every yeah, single man. hotel by weirdness and this one is definitely S tier. Ah, mas isto é de graça. It's completely normal. Like here I am at a totally normal looking breakfast table, right? Wrong. This hotel room is completely upside down. Completely mm, upside down. When you first walk in, you feel like you've entered another world. All the furniture is connected to the roof. So the fireplace is on the ceiling and the TV is touching the ground. And the bed is also the table. Yeah, this is weird. The bed table was pretty comfy. Honestly, the more time you spend in here, the crazier you start to go. Why is there a dog on the ceiling? Luckily, the toilet's not on the ceiling. That would be bad. It's like you're staying inside of an illusion. Honestly, whoever designed this place is a genius. Or absolutely insane. But next, we're staying in a hotel with robot dinosaur workers. Like these raptors that help you check into your Man, isto é incrível! So, these are the front desk. Não fazia a mínima ideia que existiam merdas destas. Vocês estão... Mano, estamos a brincar. Olha lá onde é que é está. Está na recepção com um dinossauro a fazer o check-in. Foda-se. Exactly how to use the touch screens to get your key. Please apply your passport on the page with your picture on the device. And now you can go check into your room without having spoken to a single human. You might think your room is simple, but there's even a robot in every single room. I'm your concierge. You can talk to me when my eyes are yellow. Where are the vending machines? Total fun, vending eh? machines are on each floor. Pretty helpful, actually. I'm going to dance now, so watch me. What is happening? <laughs> In the morning, you can even go eat well, in the morning. Where, of course, you can get dino chicken nuggets for breakfast. Also, easily the best breakfast item. But we're still only just getting started, and the next hotel might be my favorite ever because it's in a safari park resort and right past these gardens. Welcome to the Tiger Lodge. This is crazy. In this hotel, yeah, the tiger will walk right up to your window. They'll get super close and they'll start to come up right next to you. So throughout your day, you'll work, relax, and eat right next to the tigers. So I really Já vimos há bocado, mas mesmo assim é sempre impressionante. Porra. This is not really a hotel. Room, it's more just like a house. Tigre. You've got your bookshelf, super cozy living room, even a full-size Christmas tree. Obviously, even your bedroom has a view of the tiger. So I guess he'll be your security throughout Malta the night. Malta, I just go there, Rita. Curti on the mirror, sim. Just go across the hall. Tiraste experiência, não é? This place is so luxurious. You even get a resort guide. He'll show you around. Like I found out, I have an outdoor bath with a view. And he even introduced the tiger. Foi quase isso a frase. A noite é bom que dê para fechar a cortina. Older and more aggressive cat. While this guy Misha is super chill. Like he's literally just chilling and enjoying the outdoors. It's so weird. I've never been to a zoo this quiet and empty. Like I can just walk up to the monkeys and no one's around. Hello. <laughs> I was even the only one there at the gorillas. Like I'm the only one walking around. There's a huge dinosaur forest with over a hundred dinosaurs. And close by are the rhinos. They've got toys like half of a tree to play with. And of course, being a safari park, you can go on a safari to see all the animals. This place is huge. There are wolves, antelope, a camel blocking the way. <laughs> and then as it gets later, you can walk back to your cabin and check in on your tigers. Hey, Misha. Anoite. Anoite, I think it's the most assustador. Your paws are like bigger than your head. Clearly, Misha was getting ready to sleep, so I decided to hang out with him and read a book. I've definitely never been to a hotel quite like this one. Imagine I sleep right here. This is so ridiculous. 
This video is not going to be cheap. This Tiger Lodge costs a thousand dollars a night, but I will say it's been one of the best hotels I've ever stayed in. Literally seeing a tiger right in front of your bed is like a once in a lifetime experience. I don't think you can beat sleeping next to a tiger, but our next hotel all the way in Japan is pretty weird. The entrance is covered with giant candies and sweets. Wow. There's even this creepy robot hey. tree that talks to you. Oh, you got a Benjamin. Oh, phrase, a experience, man. Can't get by. This really might be the strangest looking hotel in Japan, and inside it just gets crazier. Oh wow, this is ridiculous. Welcome to my room for tonight. This is the bed, but all the pillows are donuts. There is a couch, but it's not that comfortable. But the weirdest part of the room is in the bathroom. It has a faucet that lets you make a chocolate bath. That's nasty. I don't think that's chocolate. Now, this place gives me the creeps. It wasn't my favorite hotel to stay yeah, in, but no, next. A hotel no. in a crane. Yeah, that is my hotel tonight. It is massive and it's really to say for all, exactly. for one night here, so it better be worth it. The only way to get to eu sei o criador desta cena e já falei com o criador desta cena no, no Insta, mano, que eu gostava de gravar um vídeo aqui, mano. Room is on this small elevator. I'm Mas deixa que fiquem em Amsterdão. This is your very unique living room. Is that an egg chair? Here's your bathroom. 1500 paus custa, oh Ferraz. Estava a dizer que era raro visto também é, mas é uma experiência, não é? This hotel I've ever been to. Up the stairs is your luxury bedroom. This feels like how a king would live. Feels luxurious. <laughs> <coughs> There's a bath up here. This is insane. Oh, yes. Now we're talking. And there's a... <laughs> Next to the bed that watches you sleep. No, no, Later, I'll I'll go go to the top of the crane to see the view. This view is crazy. And it gets extremely windy up here. My hotel swaying in the wind was a little strange. So let's check out my next resort in Dubai. It's the world's only seven-star hotel and costs a thousand dollars a night. Inside, the lobby is completely ridiculous. There are gold escalators and gold elevators. And your room is basically an entire house. This is actually insane. The TV is gold. Furniture is gold. The coffee maker is gold. These random holes are gold. A golden staircase. A golden chandelier. There's this fancy area for whatever fancy stuff people do here. The most insane. Eu acho que não compensa pagar valores assim tem de ser mesmo pela experiência. A tomar foder com todo o respeito. And using the remote to the TV to move. What the heck? I could get used to this. But being fancy doesn't make it the weirdest hotel. So let's see. A hotel inside of a horse. This building has so many features I never could have imagined. Ora, Cabal Troia! How do you even get into Ai, the horse? Cabal Troia! Obvious. There's a drawbridge in the horse's butt. Talk about a back door. Uh, yeah, let's go inside. <laughs> the inside really makes you feel like you're traveling back into medieval times. You've got bunk bed one Man, and fish. bunk bed two. This place is very comfortable. Nothing extraordinary, but comfortable. No idea what this is. And the most magical room is right up these stairs inside the head of the horse. This room, or uh, the head, can move using this handle. Just pull it up or down. Whoa! Going down, going down. So, so far, it's enough to make me forget all this. Its own theme park ride. This is insane. In the morning, hotel staff will ring a bell when your breakfast is ready. They bring you this basket and you just have to pull it up to the kitchen with the horse's pulley system. Time to eat. Staying in a horse was magical. Solid B tier. And tonight's hotel is called the Book and Bed Cafe. It's a capsule hotel where you sleep inside a bookshelf. It's fifty dollars a night. Por acaso, isto é uma que eu gostava e é barato. Para mim, num hotel capsule. Para quem ficar a malar, tem de mover ali a puxar croquetes. Most of the books here are in Japanese, but luckily there is a small English section. Like they've really put so many random, interesting books here for you to grab. There's also showers and a disco ball, so you can party with your books. But before my next hotel, I might have found the weirdest restaurant on earth. Inside are tons of baby robots, and when you sit down, they give you one. This guy's name is Matcha. Some teletubby. This is weird. First, you're supposed to hold it and treat it like a baby. Gotta say, I never expected to have a robot baby. Step two, gently stroke its head and belly. I don't, I, I don't know why. Step three, it has gently. voice command so you can talk to it. Matcha. But just like a real baby, <laughs> it will fall all the time. Honestly, these robots are pretty sweet. The only problem is they cost $3,000 to buy. Oh, okay, now he's falling asleep. You know I'm not your dad, right? 
Vai ficar sem bateria. The capsule was nice, but next we've got an entire house. This is the world's first treehouse neighborhood, and I'll be staying here for the next 24 hours. This one is mine. Welcome, boa welcome. definição da casa da árvore, mano. A casa da árvore, o Ferrari das casas da árvore, mano. Living room and the kitchen. First thing you notice about this place is that it's basically entirely. Todos nós já imaginamos quando éramos mais novos ter uma casa na árvore, não? This is how they were built, but the neighborhood still looks insane. Like most people driving by have to stop to take a video. They also have this giant slide. I can't believe I'm doing this. That was, that was pretty fun. Anyways, bedrooms are on the top floor. They're definitely simple. And of course there's a balcony. Actually, two. Wait, check out this view. Whoa. Obviously, entertainment is very important. I'm kind of in the middle of nowhere. I also brought the world's smallest TV. And I put Shrek on it. <laughs> Honestly, it was a pretty smart move. So I found what has to be the coolest vending machine ever. I was hungry, looking for food. Okay, check out how awesome this is. It's literally a German grocery store. We've got steak, bratwurst, cheesy bratwurst. Like literally every amazing German food you could want. Yum. Cheese? It's okay, gonna all mine. What? Looking good. Bruh. These are actually so good. I was not expecting that. The sun has set. Our day is coming to an end. It was like living in a fantasy world. So next, tonight I'm staying in the world's first gaming capsule hotel. Here you can get. Oh, tá aqui. Este é o nosso. Este é o nosso. Levar os rapazes todos. Siga fazer aí com sucesso durante 48 horas. 14 pós por dia. For just $14 a night. Inside are dozens of advanced gaming PCs. Estamos no major, caralho. You get your own setup and you can play literally whatever oh, you want. Honestly, it's super easy to lose track of time here and spend like your entire day gaming. Plan and slots. then when you're tired, <laughs> you can head to your sleeping pod. There are many different capsule types you can get. And I even got a private window and a table. I'm a fan. Capsule hotels are super convenient. Like our next stop, it's a capsule hotel sleep in. lab. If you didn't know, capsule hotels basically have a bunch of mini bunk bed rooms for travelers who don't Some need that much space. They're Parece. also like way cheaper than a normal hotel room. Every capsule comes with your freebies. Slippers, pajamas, towel, toothbrush. Inside you've got your light knob and uh, one more thing. What is this? It's a sleep tracking camera. This hotel is called the Sleep Lab because it's literally designed to analyze everyone's sleep using AI. Like it was actually taking pictures of me while I slept. It even gives you data fish. on how well you sleep, like how loud my snoring was. The camera was a little strange, but let's go to a helicopter mansion. Yeah, you heard me right. Let's see what's inside. It costs about $280 to stay here for a night, but you really get a lot for your money. So up here is where the house really begins. You've got like bar stools overlooking the pool. And inside you'll find what really makes Muito this Airbnb weird. There's an Gente entire tal, helicopter in the living room. In here you can sit in the cockpit and pretend to fly the helicopter. This is so much fun. And it's also a lounge. This has to be the only helicopter in the world that became a living room. This is the kitchen with a huge kitchen table. Snacks, banana, and like lava lamp heaven. <laughs> Why are there so many? This is bedroom one. There's so much space. This room is huge. And the towel swans are really Está nice. Está aqui a gigante. Imagine irem com os vossos amigos para aqui. Não sei onde é que isto fica, não é? Another room, bed three. Só para dormir num helicóptero acho que não compensa. This place is so big. But before we leave, there's one thing about this place I had to try the next morning. My favorite thing about this Airbnb actually isn't the helicopter, but it's actually how you get your luggage up and down the stairs. You just have to take your suitcase, secure it in this net, and then with this controller, slowly, really slowly, lower it to the ground. And then you just pull your luggage out. I guess also if you really had to, you could move it the stairs. Uh, maybe not the weirdest hotel ever, but it's a really cool concept. Next, we're off to the most expensive hotel I've ever seen. And Mikonos. probably the fanciest. Rooms here can Ai, cost thousands yeah, man, per night. They got 36 million views on this TikTok, showing off your own private pool next to your bed with the ocean. But this hotel in Greece is not cheap at all. The TikTok comments like, uh, are saying, what you can afford is an imagination manifesting this. 2,000 and all per day. Our room starts at about $2,000 a night. Luckily, the hotel partnered with us to give us a free stay. So we're going to take a look around and see if this hotel is actually worth the money and if it's actually quite as luxurious and beautiful as tiktok makes it look when you first walk in you see your private pool and your crazy looking bedroom the design of the really <laughs> like here you can go right from your bed um, to the dia, pool by walking oh, this look. is incredible and then swim laps inside your hotel room and of course you can always pop your head back in hey sam 
Ah, oh, pois, era sure. é isso que eu estava a ver. Ele levou logo a pensar na fogueirada. Ai, não, não é? Estão tão ali que é bom estar sozinhos só a gravar o hotelzinho. Yeah. A moça so dele quis logo ir. A giant statue of a gorilla, a very nice mini bar, fully stocked with all the essentials. But things really heated up the next day. Não, burro, não é o frasco. Fanciest breakfast. The restaurant has an aquarium bar and... And you know this place is fancy because... The food has gold on it. Seriously, there's real edible gold sprinkled all over the breakfast buffet. That is so unnecessary. I felt so lucky to get to stay here. Easily one of the fanciest rooms ever. Unlike our next hotel. On the luxury scale, this one might be near the bottom because it's inside a barn. I think this is it. When you first walk in, it might look normal, but it has a secret. Hello? Here's your main... Oh, it's going to be a cow. Can you Kitchen. Já tínhamos vindo, visto um vídeo onde ele mostrou este hotel. Warm fireplace. Here's the bedroom. And something very special behind this curtain. See, in this hotel, you have a roommate. This is Basil. He's a 12-year-old, two and a half foot tall mini Shetland horse that'll sleep right next to you. That's a horse. A frase, ele está a avaliar, tipo, quão weird é que é, quão estranho é que é o hotel. What are you doing? Não quer dizer que é o melhor ou o pior, percebes? É o estranho. If you couldn't tell by his hairstyle, Basil's kind of é o horse. Fator diferenciado. This is easily the weirdest Airbnb I've ever been in. I mean that as a compliment. But you get a pretty big bedroom and many random horse-related objects. Never stop snacking. Basil is super well behaved and tries his best to chew quietly at night. But it's pretty comfortable overall because it costs just over $200 per night to stay here. And it's definitely a hotel you'll never forget. During the day, Basil gets to stay in this massive field with his friends. He has a mini horse friend named Oscar, but they basically just walk around and eat all day. Of course, Basil has neighbors, like larger horses. The Airbnb host gave me a tour and let me meet the cows. And there's sheep with interesting names. So they're pretty much all friendly apart from this one. And his name? Abraham Lincoln. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Sir Lamb's a little. Sir Lamb's a little. Incredible. After dark, Basil comes back inside to relax and <laughs> the rest of the day. Poor, they're so nameless. <laughs> I found this guest book. These drawings are insane. And all sorts of people have come to stay with Basil for a night. <laughs> A moça escolhe qual cavalo que é montar, é wild. Some of these are kind of scary. Like, what is that? I had so much fun with Basel. A tier. But in Japan, I stayed in a super colorful hotel covered in arts. It's tour time. Bed one. Bed two. There's a massive version of the next four on the wall you can actually play. In the center of the room, you literally have a face. The sunglasses are lamps. You control them with the nostrils in the nose. And the other nostril. Tissue box. I really think this might be the most beautiful hotel room I've been in. Nearby is the most advanced restaurant on earth. It's managed by these robot waiters that are controlled by real people. It allows workers with disabilities or health issues to have a job that they can work comfortably from anywhere in the world. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Uh, my name is Michio. Hello. Hi. Hello. Nunca has editado tu o nameless, tem que ser. Of course you can even place your order from the robots. Yuko. Yuko. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Yuko. Yes, I ordered a cafe latte. Cafe latte. Cafe latte. Yes. yes. And of course, like a normal waiter, they'll bring you your drink. Nice to meet you. Isso aqui é fixe a experiência. Deve um bocado lag, acredito que se calhar até demora mais tempo. Okay. And I am operating it from my home. So the way this restaurant works is oh, all okay. the robots so are actually controlled souls. by real people at home. This gives jobs to people with physical disabilities that might not allow them to go to work easily. Man, they incredible. use to talk to you and... I didn't even notice the scene at the beginning. I think he said it, but I didn't even notice it at the beginning. Incredible. Hello. Hello. Arigato. They can even talk to each other. <laughs> is this your dog? Yes, he uh, she's my dog. Oh. Uh, her name is. Hey, these fotografies are really personal. A gente não sabe se é verdade, não é? Mas sendo mesmo assim que eles estão a dizer, é, mano, é espetacular conseguirem dar um trabalho a pessoas que já não estão aptas a conseguir fazer isso. Pá, é só espetacular. Yes, um Japanese traditional dog. Ah. Uh, Estou literalmente yes. arrepiado agora estar a pensar, mano. Ganda cena. Não sei se isto é na China ou onde, onde é. Não faço a mínima ideia. Não sei como é aquela, mas mano, deve okay. ser Japão, é. Yeah. Salad. Can you bring me more water? Ah, okay. Okay. I got the. We need uh, some more uh, drinks. No, just water is okay. Thank you. Okay. Wow, 
Thank you. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Do you want this back? Já, yeah, então tem de ser, se ele disse que o quarto era... Exatamente, ele disse, ele disse. Thank you very much. O que tinha os... Bye. Bye. os óculos a fazer de lâmpada, é. Yeah. Yes, it was nice to see you too, thank you. Oh, thank you. Bye. <laughs> This place is such a cool concept and everyone was so nice and lovely to talk to. On to the next one. After I sleep. My art room was kind of small, so next let's try the biggest hotel in the entire world. Seriously, I came all the way to Malaysia to see what it's like. This place has over 7,000 rooms, giving it the world record for largest hotel on the planet. You literally... 7,000 quartos? Mano, 7,000 quartos? Um hotel tem 7,000 quartos? Fooooooo! 7,000? Mas quer fazer a mínima ideia, mano. Resort sem pai mil quartos, mano. Dois mil quartos, mano. Não é só sete mil quartos, é nem para o espaço desta cena, mano. Also, you pay just twenty two dollars for one night here. So just head to the lobby to check in with these computers before finding your room. Twenty two dollars. Well, I guess nobody claimed it was the fanciest hotel in the world. Let's look around. Flat screen TV. Mano, vinte e dois paus está fixe, mano. Então. I was able to sleep, but not that well. Room wasn't great, but there's so much to do, so I'll give it a C. But next, this is the world's first video game hotel. But what does that even mean? Inside is every gamer's dream, a lobby filled with video games sure. of every kind. First, you check into your room. This room is huge. It has enough space for all of your friends. Or, uh, yourself. And then, check which gaming consoles came with your room. I've got a PS4 and Xbox in mine. Now you can head to the lobby and pick out whichever games you want for your room. They have basically every game imaginable here. All right, got yeah, my favorites. Get the concept, you can even go play in the arcade. In here, they have all the classics on 25 different machines. There we go. Or go check out the PC gaming lounge. It's filled with super advanced gaming PCs. You look like the saddest stormtrooper I've ever seen. Simple room, but you can never get bored here. But back in Dubai, the city is so hot that it's pretty crazy that you can go sledding today in a massive, super cold indoor snow mountain. And my hotel yeah, tonight has to have a perfect view of the ski slopes. Dubai is here to make appearances. This view is ridiculous. Your bed lets you watch everyone having fun in the snow. Your room has a fireplace. It's it's not actually a fireplace. Yeah, já ouvi, já ouvi, sir. Hot or warm at all. There's an entire dining room, and you even get a butler to help you with whatever you need. He told me the snow mountain has some insane air conditioning. They keep it a cool 25 degrees all year round. Before you can go touch the snow, you have to suit up and say hi to these creepy robot reindeer. Meet the penguins. Stay safe, and it's all yours. Stay safe. Uh, once you're inside, you can grab hot chocolate. Stay safe. Say hi to the penguins. By the way, fun penguin fact. The male will find the female of his choice. When he finds her, he will then sing to her and still be rejected by the female. Penguin okay. beside guys. Like, can't really make a snowball. No way. There's even a private movie theater on the snow mountain that plays the latest movies all day for you to watch while having fun. Speaking of fun. Here we go. Woo! Woo! Oh, no fui este spot. A ski mountain in a desert é um is just a right? Next, an ancient home in Switzerland. It went viral on TikTok for having a bathroom Estou that moves. Yeah, your bathtub literally can travel. But obviously people have so many questions. People think it would be embarrassing and over their cafe tables. And it's true. This is your bath and this is where people will eat at the cafe. But first, let's see the room. It's just one big room that costs around $300 a night. What do you think? It's so cute. So this is called the Cupid room. Big bed. Super nice. Tiny TV. On, on, on. And a Swiss lab to sit car. This will be the end. I think it's broken. And uh, this is your entire bathroom. There's no shower. You have What? to use the crazy bath anytime you want to clean yourself at all. Which brings us to the main attraction of the room, your moving bathtub. I guess we checked in on the same day as like an event or a party. Which means there are a ton of people here, so all of these people would see you naked taking a bath. Free show. <laughs> Sam got in just to test it out, and of course everyone outside looked at her. Probably not the environment you'd want to take a bath in. Stress inducing. Look at the audience I just had. Oh, 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 mas é este o movimento. Eu pensava que aquela cena ia agora fazer aí um. O dragão. E esse é tipo o dragão da Feira Popular, que toda a gente conhece que existe o dragão em todo lado. Afinal, é só. Vai lá fora e vem para dentro. Olha, 
Não é, ó oh, Neymar, se é para ser, é para ser, não é? Ó, oh, que é isto? Pai, ah, mas vocês estão ali de saco de fora, não é? Não podemos esquecer disso. Eu acho que eu estou bem em cima de onde as pessoas poderiam comer. Eu acho que eu estou bem em não se falar. And I don't think you could get stuck out here. So far, so good. I loved it so much, I went again the next morning. It's so peaceful out here. Feel the wind. But I still don't agree with Happy on TikTok, who wants a toilet version. I don't think that one would be great. Uma sanita lá fora, man. A fazer este sistema de ir para frente, man. Coisa linda, ou não? Cagar ali ao ar livre. Pessoal toda vez. This capsule hotel in Tokyo. It costs just $21 a night, but the reviews aren't great. Robert says he would give zero stars if he could. Wow, okay, Robert. And Mike says disgusting. Literally impossible to sleep. So obviously I had to check it out for myself, but I'm not spending the night. First impressions, it's definitely a little outdated, but you do still get a TV and it's kind of amazing you can stay in the heart of Tokyo for just 20 bucks. So maybe it's not that bad. Come on. It was cheap and safe, but a little old. Anyways, the next hotel is the most viral resort I've ever seen. It went viral on TikTok with 68 million views and looks like a jungle paradise. Ah, este aqui eu acho que já vi alguma cena no TikTok disto, yeah. No TikTok ou no Reels, uma cena de me the reality version. So I came all the way here to Thailand to see if it's really as beautiful as... Por amor de Deus, oh Nameless. A sanita transparente não pode ser, caralho. A ver o vosso presente a ser impresso em 3D, não, aí não. Your room might be normal, but you get a view of the most magical hotel swimming pool you'll ever see. That is crazy. In real life, it looks just like the TikTok. You can rent these glass boats for free to explore it, or even get breakfast in the pool. There's only one thing that let me down. It's definitely cold, but there'd be no way to heat a pool this large. It's basically a river. But by far the most shocking thing about this place is just how cheap it is to stay here. Because just one night costs only $52 right now. That pool is on another level. <laughs> Estava a pegaram só e comprar uma fuselagem e meteram aí não ser ao lado de uma cena onde descolam e aterram aviões é altamente They've really turned this plane into a super nice home, basically. You have not one, but two couches. Pretty nice. TV number one, coffee maker. Your dining table. TV number two, a hot tub bath. And maybe the most insane thing about Esquece this whole plane, the plane has a sauna. I've never seen a hotel room with its own sauna. Not to mention a plane. At the back of the plane is your bed with a heart made of rose petals. This would normally be so romantic. Um homem foi sozinho. Uh, so my favorite room is in the front of the plane. This is the flight deck. It's been restored to basically look exactly how it would look if you could actually still fly the plane. Watch it actually take flight. I've always wanted to do this. This is so much fun. What's crazier than the plane itself is the amenities it comes with. If you're ready, we can just start the engine. Yeah, I'm ready. ready. Yeah. This is Dick. What? He's a genius pilot and can take hotel guests on private flights around the Netherlands on this small plane. So you're a famous uh, YouTuber? Uh, maybe not famous, uh -huh. but I am a YouTuber. Yeah. Not famous, Mil milhões de views, not famous. Arms and uh... wait, are those sheep? 